Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about pipeline templates in Azure Data Factory. Now, if you've been out to the Azure website recently, opened up the portal and gone into the Data Factory Designer, you may have noticed a new option uh, on the Get Started page that says create a pipeline from a template. And so what happens when we create that pipeline from a template, or we hit that button to do so, I should say, it's going to take us out to the template gallery. And here you can see a number of tiles for different pipeline templates that Microsoft has provided here. And some of these are, are really interesting, and I think particularly so if you are new to Azure Data Factory and you're not really familiar with, with what you can do with Data Factory, this is a really good way to get some ideas about uh, what it can do and some of the services that it can connect to. It's also interesting, I think, that you know, if you're using Data Factory for a certain technology, this is a way to learn about how to configure other technologies that you may not be using. So I think that they're uh, an interesting reference for doing that. But they're also really nice for learning perhaps some new patterns. So maybe you've been doing things a certain way. This might give you some ideas uh, for other patterns or even technologies to use in place of what you're doing today. So I think that they're interesting just to kind of uh, learn about it the way other people are doing some things. There are also some interesting references I found uh, to code. So in particular, some of the, the variable expressions and, and things like that that are included in the templates, I think are really pretty uh, interesting resources. So after I select one of the, the templates here from the gallery, it's going to take me to a configuration page. And so if I look at this example, I've selected the copying data from Oracle to SQL Data Warehouse. And when I select this template, it gives me a little preview of the the activities that are included. And in this case, this is a simple one where I just have a single activity in the template. And then it's asking me for a couple of inputs. And here it's just looking at the, the two uh, linked services that are required by the copy activity in this case. And so I can select those from my drop down there, or I can create them similar to what I would do with uh, creating a, a linked service outside of here. So I make a reference to my two connections in this case, and I'm all set. I you know hit the button, it's gonna create a pipeline and it's going to be configured with those selections that I've made. And that's really it. You're, now, once you've created that pipeline from the template, you can certainly modify the pipeline any way you want, uh, but these templates are really a, a good way to get started. So we showed how to get to that, the template gallery from the, the opening page or the intro page, I should say, but we can also get to the same gallery from the, the designer uh, that I've shown here. So I have a new option under uh, adding a pipeline uh, where I can select that I want to create a pipeline from a template. So I want to point out there's another way to, to get to this option here. Now something else that's really nice is we can actually create our own templates. And so if you have a, a pipeline uh, and maybe you've kind of been copying it and, and, and doing that um, to, to replicate uh, logic, etc., you can create your own template and make it available in the gallery. And so to do that, I want to point out that you do need to be working within uh, the, a Git repository, so you've got to have version control uh, configured here. Uh, and so if you're working within your, your version control branch, you can create a pipeline, and then you'll have an option that I'm showing here that says Save as Template. And so once I get my pipeline in the, you know, the condition that I want it in and it's working, I can save it as a template. And when I do that, then this template will now appear uh, in the template gallery, if I filter it down to showing just my templates, we can see here in this example that I have a template available based on one that I have created. I hope you found this introduction to Azure Data Factory pipeline templates uh, helpful. If you have any questions about Azure Data Factory or data warehousing in Azure, please reach out, let us know. Thank you.